Hey everyone, my name is Ben Heisch. I'm a wedding and elopement photographer based in Tacoma, Washington. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Kodak Ektachrome, um, and specifically my experience using it on what Kodak called the Ektachrome beta test, where I was able to go out and shoot a bunch of test rolls, test stuff for them, uh, send it back and just make sure everything was looking good. And so I'll be telling you about my experience with it, kind of how it looks, give you some test images, and uh, kind of some tips for those of you who've never shot slide film before. Okay, so before we even start looking at photos, we need to get a quick little baseline of what slide film even is and why Ektachrome specifically is going to be really cool to have back on the market. So if you're familiar with film at all, this is what we call a negative. So this is what most color film is. It's called color negative film. Um, and it's essentially by negative, it's the opposite of what, you know, the photo actually looks like. Where this is an old slide of my dad's. Um, it's what we call a positive film. So slide film um, gives you a positive image, a, you know, photo that actually looks like what was actually taking place versus the negative right here. You can see the difference. Um, the cool thing about this is they made this, started making it in the 40s, uh, and another film that Kodak made called Kodachrome was very iconic, and Ektachrome is really iconic as well. Ektachrome is a cooler film in terms of tonality and color, but it's also the most true-to-life film that I've ever shot. So um, when I got the scans back to my stuff, I was like, that's exactly what it looked like. Um, which is really, really cool if that's what you're into. And maybe if you're going for something a little bit more stylistically different, uh, maybe that's not what you're into. Okay, so the film came in early August and I had a couple trips planned. And so I'll be showing you a few of the photos that I took in Big Sur, California. Uh, I had a couple shoot while I was there. And then also some photos that I took at uh, Mount Rainier National Park. All right, so it is 7.15 in the morning. Here at Bixby Bridge, Big Sur, trying out some stuff, bracketing a couple exposures just to kind of make sure that I'm not messing this up too bad. Um, but yeah, pretty good old typical foggy Big Sur. So the meter's currently saying to do 5.6 at a 30th of a second. Um, but as I've kind of checked things out a little bit too, I thought that might be a little bit overexposed. Um, so I also took another bracketed shot, 5.6 at 160th of a second. So let's see which ones of those turn out a little bit better. Just finished the first roll, Ektachrome. So after I was done photographing at Bixby Bridge, I drove down the coast a little bit and ended up finding some other attendees from a workshop I was teaching at. Um, I bumped into them shooting a couple, so I asked if I could jump in and take a few frames myself. And so here is a photo on Ektachrome, and for comparison, here's a photo I took on Kodak Ultramax 400. Um, you can see here the detail on the Ektachrome is much, much more pronounced. All right, out here to come Washington, Point Defiance Park, doing some Ektachrome beta testing. Um, shooting on a Leica M2. It's pretty dark, um, even though it looks pretty golden back there, a lot of wildfire smoke. So that's kind of what that crazy looking haze is, which makes everything pretty dark. So um, I'm shooting a, let's see if you can see that, um, half second exposure, five, six. Um, try to get all this kind of stuff on there. I don't have a shutter release, but this has a little self timer thing. So it's kind of how I'm rolling with these. All right, last couple shots of the night. It's getting pretty dark. 
Gotta wait all these cars driving by. Sunrise, Mary right here. I'm gonna shoot some Actigrum beta test. Should be pretty sweet once the sun comes up. Okay, and then a couple other things to think about when you're thinking about shooting slide film, especially when you're talking about exposure. Um, so on color negative film, so, you know, Portra, um, Ektar, films like that, they're C41 films. Uh, they have a lot of kind of dynamic range, a lot of give in the overall image. What with slide film, it's kind of like what you see is what you get. Um, so if you're a digital photographer or shoot digital at all, you kind of have to think of it almost like you're shooting digital on JPEG. So the film really only has about a half a stop on each side of latitude. Um, otherwise, it kind of starts to fall apart a little bit. You start losing detail almost immediately. And then when the scanner tries to bring that detail back, color shifts happen within a stop. So I did a lot of uh, tests where I would overexpose by a stop and underexposed by a stop just to kind of see what was going on. And even with those just one stop difference, uh, there was a kind of a big discrepancy in terms of quality. Um, so nailing your exposure on Ektachrome is really, really, really important in getting uh, just a solid usable image. What's awesome about Ektachrome though is the sharpness and the tones out of it. So like I said, it's the most true to life film I've ever shot. And it's also the sharpest and least grainy film I've ever shot. Um, I actually really kind of don't mind grain structure in my images, especially in you know black and white photos and stuff like that. Um, but if you're shooting anything that you really want a lot of detail out of, so a lot of the photos I shot were a lot of landscape images where having a lot of really fine detail is really, really important. And so in those images, just zooming in, there's so much detail and so much uh, kind of lack of grain in those, which makes it really, really good for something like landscapes. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more of the photos that I took on Ektachrome, I will link a blog post I made in the description below. Uh, and feel free to leave any questions you might have, uh, whether it be just about shooting film in general, about Ektachrome specifically. Um, I know it should be out, it should be shipping out soon and all that stuff. So I uh, would love to see you guys get your hands on it and let me know how it goes for you as well. Um, if you're new to seeing me in this stuff and you think that I should do more videos like this, um, feel free to hit subscribe um, and leave any suggestions you might have for other videos in the, in the comments below. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys around here soon again. Peace.